today I'm going to show you how to create spider silk. The things you'll need to create our spider silk is one glass bottle and I replaced the cork on this with a black rubber cork and that was pretty much just for aesthetic. It doesn't matter what kind of cork you have on here and if you don't have the rubber cork you could just kind of paint your regular cork into a black, a blue, a gray, whatever color you'd like but I just liked how the black one looked with everything else we have going on with this bottle. I am using a spider charm and I found this one at Hobby Lobby. It has that really pretty capiz shell on the torso of the spider and I just thought it was a super cute pin so as soon as I saw it I was like yep we're gonna have to use this on a bottle because it's really cute. I'm gonna be using some blue gray cording here. Again you could use whatever color you'd like. You could do black, you could do white, you could do gray. Whatever you think will work on your bottle feel free to use. I'm going to use a white hot glue for embellishment and that is actually loaded with the white sealing wax hot glue. It's not just a regular hot glue so that will give us a little bit finer um, drips than some of the hot glue can. We are also going to use a regular high temperature hot glue gun and sticks. Um, the sticks that I'm using here are actually extra durable ones and they are the long kind. You will find you're probably going to use at least two of these sticks so um, just make sure you have plenty of hot glue with you and it needs to be the high temperature or you're not going to get the effect we're going for. A really important element of this is either non-stick foil or glass. So you're going to need something that we're going to be able to make our spider silk on and it's going to be able to come off of it. So that's where I find that this non-stick foil is absolutely amazing. Stuff just comes right off of it and um, it makes it really, really easy. And you're able to just reuse that same piece over and over again, which is really, really nice. And then you're going to want a piece of paper or some newspaper, cardboard, whatever, something to put underneath of your foil so then that way it doesn't get the surface you're working on covered in hot glue. So um, whatever that is for you, a poster board, anything like that, you just want to make sure that you cover your surface so then that way it's not getting um, covered with hot glue that you may or may not be able to get off efficiently. You may want a cooking skewer or something to help you put the spider silk into the bottle as well as our label printed on sticker paper and the link for this is in the description down below. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is take our nonstick foil as well as whatever surface you're putting down to protect your work area um, on the table and we are going to take our hot glue. Make sure it is good and heated up because you don't want it to be halfway through heating up and not get the strings and strands that we are looking for. Now this is pretty easy, but again, make sure you protect your surface. Make sure your hands and you are not super close to it because if you are slinging some of your hot glue and it gets on you, it could burn you. So just be careful, um, but this is really easy. We are going to drip a little bit of the hot glue, and as it's dripping, we are going to go back and forth to create our little spider silk strands, and then we're just going to do it again. So basically you just continue to do this and then I like to change directions and go the other way as well. But you can see where we're getting like the hot glue on the edges. That's why it's important to just be careful, protect yourself, protect your work area. Um, we want to get the strands but we don't want anybody to get hurt. This is one time where your hot glue gun making those little strings is a good thing. So once you get a decent little amount on there, we're going to let that dry, which it doesn't take very long. Um, but the biggest thing I like to do is if you have any sections of thicker glue, like this one right here, I'd like to pull those out because we want it to be the finer strands. You don't want any of the big globs of glue. That's, that's not going to look like spider silk. Because essentially I was going for a look of if you were to go out to your backyard or whatever right now and find a really good big spider web, if you were to pull it down and put it into a bottle to be the spider silk, it's not going to be perfect. It's going to kind of clump together, but it's still going to have that stringy quality to it. It's still going to refract the light nicely, and that's kind of what I feel like this does. Um, and I wanted to give you guys an option of something that is really easy to do and you don't need a bunch of stuff. I know I've seen tutorials where people have taken an air compressor and their hot glue gun and yeah I'm gonna tell you that doesn't work um I've also seen where people have made like slime and special attachments for a drill I just no I just wanted to give you an easy simple option 
that most of you should be able to do if you have a hot glue gun. And if not, you could also use those fake spider webs, but I just felt like this was a, a different way of doing it. And it'll give us a really different look that will also refract the light really nicely. So yeah, see how there was this bigger clump of hot glue? I just pulled that out. So once I get a section of my spider silk, I'm just gonna load it into the bottle. And again, you might want a cooking skewer or something to just kind of help guide it in there. So the hardest part about this bottle is honestly just the time it takes to give us our spider silk. But it's basically just patience. So, you know, throw on your favorite Halloween movie or whatever and sit with your hot glue gun and just continue to go back and forth. Make your little silk strands and then stick them in your bottle. And once we get it filled up, I'll show you how we're going to finish embellishing it. Would you like a chance to win this potion bottle? Then consider supporting me over on Patreon. All of my patrons have a chance to win a monthly potion bottle. Link is in the description down below. <laughs> While I'm waiting on this last one to dry, as you can see, you definitely want to put something down on your work surface because otherwise all of this would be on your table or whatever you're working on. And yeah, I don't think you'd want to clean that off. Okay, so we're going to peel up the last section here. And again, this is a little time consuming, so just, you know, have fun with it. Like I said, sit and watch a movie or anything like that. And, uh, You'll get all your little spider silk, no problem. Now, some of you may be saying to me, Andrea, why don't you just use the fake spider webs that you can get in the bags at the dollar store, or whatever. Well, I'm going to tell you why. You cannot get a great look inside of a smooth glass bottle. You almost have to add sticks or something for it to grasp onto to be able to get the good spider web look. Otherwise, it just looks like a bunch of cotton inside the bottle. Now, you can put it on the outside of the bottle, similar to what we did years and years ago with um, spider eggs. And I'll put a link to that at the end of the video in case you haven't seen that one. Um, we put the fake spider web on the outside of the bottle. And again, that's easy to do because it has something to grasp onto. The problem with putting it on the inside of the bottle is that it's it's not going to look as spider webby or spider silky as you'd like it to. Um, so this was just another option for you guys, but by all means, if you decide that you want to use the fake spider webs, more power to you. Just know that you're going to struggle with it a little bit, and you're not going to get the same um, light reaction we get with this. I felt like this felt very large spider silky, um, similar to like what Aragog would have had on his web, or in some of the old horror films where they've got spiders, it's always like this crystally spider silk um and i think this just gives a really nice look so now that we have this as full as i want to get it i'll show you how we're going to embellish it okay so we have our jar filled up with our spider silk and we just have this really great webby quality that catches the light really really nicely So we're gonna go ahead and cork this up. And we're gonna add our label. So like I always do, I went around the outside edge of this with a matching marker. So we're gonna peel the back off and stick this on our bottle. Okay, I think that looks pretty level. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to take my cording and we're going to wrap part of the neck of the bottle here. And then we're going to take our little spider pin and we will be able to insert it into our wrap cording before we do some drips. 
So I'm going to wrap the neck of my bottle similar to the way I have done several other bottles before. And if you have my book, The Wizard's Craft Book, it is on page three. So now that the neck of my bottle is wrapped, we're going to take our little spider pin here. And I just want you guys to see how cute this pin is. It's got these little rhinestones on the silver legs, and then it has this really pretty capiz section here. It's just a really cute pin. And like I said, I picked this one up at Hobby Lobby. Um, but you could do any little spider pin you could find a vintage one or anything like that but all we're going to do is take the pin and we're going to go under some of the cording here and then we're going to pop it out and once it pops out then we can clasp it closed here And then once it's closed, we can kind of pull it down and get it where we want it on our bottle. So now that we have our little climbing spider up there, we're going to add a little bit more embellishment with the white sealing wax. We'll let our little wax drips finish coming down. And then you can always go back and adjust some sections if you feel like you want maybe another drip or anything like that. And once our drips dry, there you have it, our spider silk. Good for bindings, trapping spells, strength and motivation charms. And I think this will make a really great addition to our potion and prop collection we make along the way. So if you guys like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.